Mark Twain once said, the two most important days in your life are the day you were born and the day you find out why. For General Larry Henry, the first important day was in Mount Sterling, Kentucky in 1941. Larry's mother Natalie was a school teacher and his father Earl owned the Jersey Milk Company. The Henrys moved to Lexington when Larry was a junior in high school. He played on the basketball and football teams at Lafayette High School and was active in Boy Scouts where he earned his Eagle Scout Award. After high school, Larry attended the University of Kentucky where he joined the Air Force ROTC program and Sigma Alpha Epsilon fraternity. In 1964, he graduated with a BS in business and received his commission in the U.S. Air Force. His first duty station was Rhein Main Air Base in Germany, where he became the operations officer at the Armed Forces Courier Station. While at Rhein Main, he traveled extensively throughout Europe, Afghanistan, and Pakistan. Larry also found time to coach the Rhein Main Rockets to the Air Force Basketball Championship. During his travels, Larry met Brenda, a Pan Am Airways stewardess. They fell in love and got married. They have been married for 50 years, and he's got four children. His next assignment was to command the Special Operating Location 1505 at Benoit Air Base in South Vietnam. He received a Bronze Star with Valor Device and Oak Leaf Cluster, as well as a Purple Heart for wounds defending the base during the 1968 Tet Offensive. Larry was nearing the end of his active duty commitment when several of the pilots in the 90th Tactical Fighter Squadron made a recommendation that he be offered a ride along in an F-100 Sabre. Larry got the approval and the flight was a life-changing experience. He liked flying and the wing commander recommended that he go to flight school. So when Larry returned to the United States in June 1968, he began navigator training at Mather Air Force Base, California with the 35th 35th Navigator Training Wing. Upon graduation, he completed F-4 tactical fighter training at Davis Monathan Air Base in Arizona and was assigned as a fast forward air controller with the 13th Tactical Fighter Squadron. The 13th was flying F-4s out of Udorn to attack targets in Laos and North Vietnam. He received one of his Distinguished Flying Crosses for Heroism in the Shantae Prison Raid of 1971. This daring raid was an attempt to free as many as 100 POWs from a jungle prison deep inside North Vietnam and only 23 miles from Hanoi. He returned to the U.S. and was signed to the 334 TAC Fighter Squadron at Seymour Johnson Air Force Base in North Carolina. His squadron was deployed twice to Ubon Air Force Base in Thailand to fly linebacker missions against North Vietnam. It was on the return from one of these missions that his wingman was shot down by a surface-to-air missile. Larry and the pilot of their F-4 disregarded their personal safety to remain over the downed crewman's position to direct search and rescue forces. Their tenacious efforts resulted in the successful recovery of the crew members from hostile territory amid a constant barrage of enemy fire. Larry Henry served four combat tours in Vietnam where he flew 320 combat missions. His combat awards include two Distinguished Service Medals, the Silver Star, three Legion of Merit, seven Distinguished Flying Crosses with H for Heroism, two Bronze Stars for Valor, a Purple Heart, three Meritorious Service Medals, 28 Air Medals, and an Air Force Commendation Presidential Unit Citation, Joint Meritorious Service Award, two Air Force Outstanding Unit Awards, two National Defense Service Medals, five Vietnam Service Medals, and two Vietnam Gallantry Crosses. After his combat tours, he attended the prestigious United States Air Force Fighter Weapons School at Nellis Air Force Base in Nevada, where he was awarded the Outstanding Graduate Trophy. He was next assigned to Air Crew Evaluation Division at Headquarters Pacific Air Command at Hickam Air Force Base, Hawaii, where he served as a Fighter Division Chief. In 1978, Larry attended the Air Force Command and Staff College at Maxwell Air Force Base, Alabama. He was selected early for Lieutenant Colonel and distinguished himself as the outstanding graduate. It was also in 1978 that Larry earned a master's degree in personnel management from Troy University. Larry continued to distinguish himself as a superb leader in subsequent assignments to the 3rd Tactical Fighter Squadron. In 1982, he was selected as one of only 20 Air Force officers to attend the National War College. He served as Division Chief for Air Force Weapons at the Pentagon, where he was selected for early promotion to Colonel. In 1985, he was assigned to command the 37th Tactical Fighter Wing, also at George Air Force Base. 
He was selected early for promotions to Brigadier General in 1987, and in 1989, he accepted his next command as Inspector General of the Tactical Air Command at Langley Air Force Base, Virginia. In 1990, Saddam Hussein invaded Kuwait, and General Henry was deployed to Headquarters Central Air Command as Chief of the Electronic Combat Division. He was instrumental in the planning of the Desert Storm Air Campaign, which turned out to be one of the most successful air campaigns in U.S. Air Force history. After the Gulf War, he served as Director of Plans, Programs, and Requirements for the Air Training Command and was promoted to Major General. In 1992, General Henry returned to the Pentagon as Director of the United States Air Force Requirements and Acting Deputy Chief of Staff for the Air Force Plans and Operations and also attended Harvard's Kennedy School of Government. Larry Henry retired from active military duty in 1994. He would continue to serve in corporations that supported our military, first as Corporate Vice President for Training at Laurel Corporation and Lockheed Martin, and then at L3 Corporation as Vice President of Air Force Programs. Major General Larry L. Henry has served our country with valor and honor, and he has demonstrated excellent management in industry and is a source of pride for the Commonwealth of Kentucky and our nation. It is therefore fitting that Major General Larry L. Henry be enshrined into the official Aviation Hall of Fame of the Commonwealth of Kentucky.